Yeah, sure. What's the deal, Big Tay? What's the deal? Since you in the building, uh, shit, let's just start it off from the beginning. Where you where you from, and uh, how was it growing up? Uh, from Detroit, man. Growing up, uh, it was really cool. It was really me and my mom for real, for real. But uh, it was straight. I'm the only child, so you know what I'm saying. I'm really, I mean, only child from my mom's side. So yeah, it really was just. You know, hard to make friends and shit like that. It's not really like antisocial, like really a shy dude. Okay. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, what I learned, I really got to get like comfortable with people for real, for real. Like, really know their vibe. And I started to learn that as I get older and shit. So it's really been smooth just growing up. Just been, it has up and down growing up, dying a lot, especially being black. But it was, oh, yeah. it was straight. It was having a smooth up and down growing up. Okay. Yeah. So, like, how, what type of, like, kid were you in school? Man, bro, I kept getting in trouble, bro. It what? was just, like, <laughs> it would be, like, bro, I'd do some goofy shit, get, like, called home. <laughs> no, like, this one time, bro, in third grade, nigga, me and my mans was throwing this eraser and, like, just throwing it across the class, catching that bitch. Mm-hmm. So when I threw that bitch, the teacher had walked in front of the, the <laughs> crossfire and knocked her shit. And instantly was like, Tay? Oh, <laughs> what? I got my ass beat when I got to the crib. Like, you throwing races at teachers? Man, man you know, I, that's how they said it. Man, what? <laughs> like, it was intentional. That was a whole ass accident. I swear to God, it was. I'm still sorry, Miss Bird, because I ain't even mean to do you like that. <laughs> I knocked her shit back, and she was stumbled her little old ass. Like, oh my God. Man, what? I got my ass beat. That's like the worst ass whooping I'd have had. No cap. <laughs> okay, so did like, so it just be little situations like that all through school. Man, that or just being a class clown. Like back when um, like your mama was hot. <laughs> Dog, we niggas was just having a, a blast, just roasting each other at lunch, all that shit. But I think one day I had like went too far. But this nigga came at me first. <laughs> nigga named Corey. The nigga was just like talking crazy and I'm like bro and it was like picture day and he had a suit on you know how niggas mamas would let them niggas I'm like nigga you don't get your pass through like I was just going in on him and I forgot what I said and that bitch just hit him he got quiet and then nigga they was like time to line up time to line up next thing you know you just see niggas tapping you like bro he was crying in the line and shit they like this nigga crying bro and everybody like oh Tay you bold as hell this and that this and that with the woo. Then the girls, females, snitching and shit, talking about I'm over here bullying a nigga and shit. The whole time, like, y'all know we be roasting each other in the class. I got to, what, call home for that shit, got cussed out, man. I used to, I had to apologize to the nigga, write him a letter and shit. They had me do it, man, what? Staying in trouble, just shit, like. What? That nigga knew what he was doing with that Man, shit. that nigga knew what he was doing. <laughs> All right, so, so was it like, you always knew you was funny, or was like the people around you? Uh, it was the people around me. I'd just be like doing some goofy shit, and niggas would be like dying laughing, just crying laughing and shit. And, and niggas would be like, bro, you a funny, like, people like, man, you a funny ass nigga. And like, when that little Vine shit and all that shit came out, niggas were like, man, you should be doing that shit, bro. But I just never really like took that shit serious. I wasn't like, at all. I ain't even had like no Instagram and shit even when I was in high school. Okay. All right, so when did it get to the point? When you was like, all right, I'm finna, I'm finna, I'm finna make a video and post it. Man, it was, um, cause I started making videos on Twitter. So it was like, I did something. Like I, I tried to do something with this girl on Instagram. Like now when I try to, I was, I think it was like slide on her or some shit. Like, no, I tried to follow her. And like the bitch was like not following back. And I'm like, bro, I know you, bro. Like, what you want? Like, you acting like you like that because you got like 30K followers. I'm like, bitch, what the fuck? Isn't that? Then I like, DM'd her. And then she left my shit on scene. I'm like, what? Bitch, we was just with you. Like, we, I'm like, oh, don't worry about it. So I was like, and that shit just really like, I couldn't get on her mind, like how she just played it crazy like that. So I said, you know what? I just made a video going in. But I wasn't like talking about, I was just like talking about a bitch in general, but it was like partially her, like the shit she was doing. Yeah. Then I had just posted that bitch. And I just threw the phone down, I was bored. Went in the backyard, started hooping and shit. Nigga, I come back, nigga, I'm tired as hell, come back. My phone rang and blast. 
I'm like, what the fuck? Because I ain't never had my notifications off and shit on my like, apps and shit. My shit going crazy. This ain't got a thousand retweets. Nigga, like, everybody calling me. Everybody that I knew from uh the old school I used to used to go to. Niggas DM me like, damn, bro, you a funny-ass nigga. With the Niggas like, man, keep doing that shit, all that type of shit. And then, nigga, PZ has retweeted. When PZ retweeted that bitch, that bitch went more world. And then niggas was like, man, he's like, you just keep doing that shit. Just make another video, make another video. And I'm like, fuck it. I do got some more shit to talk about. <laughs> I just made another video, and that bitch went world. And it was just, I just kept running with it like that. Okay, so, like, in your videos, like, it was, you say it was the girl that, like, motivated that first video. Yeah. Like, it's like a lot of them be motivated by some shit that really happened. Or it seemed, like, when you make the video, it seemed like the shit just happened. And then you picked up the phone and just start recording. Like, no, nah, it really be like, sometimes I do see, like, niggas a post, like, a little, like, you know, when niggas go through something with their hoes, you know how niggas be in their feelings, they go on a story and post a little, it's a little sneak this or niggas is just, post like a meme with a quote on that bitch and it's like multiple people post that shit or somebody will say something about it and like and then I remember that shit happened to me and it just got that shit on my mind and I just run it back on the video and that's how that bitch would go world because it relates to so many people they be like man like that's true shit this and that all that woody woo and some people be deeming like man I needed that bro because like what that's some true ass shit and like and that's how I go like I just go off that or sometimes they do like it just be happening to me and I'd be like, man, like, I gotta talk about that shit. So, after you made a few videos, like, when did you, like, really start, like, like, seeing, like, all right, this is something I can do, like? Um, I say when uh, I got on Facetime with Nick Cannon, cause um, with uh, this dude I had known went to high school at Coleman, like I'm with Nick Cannon right now. I'm at the uh, runway show. He was like, I'm about to call you. He was like, give me your number. I called him. Whoop -de -whoop. And then uh, I told him my Twitter. I'm like, yeah, bro, follow me on Twitter. He followed me on Twitter. He was watching my videos and he DM me. He was like, man, you a funny dude. He was like, like keep going. Like, I want to see, like, how far you go. I just want to see, like, these couple videos. And then you just done. You know what I'm saying? He was like, yeah. I want to see some more. I want to see some more. Like, see what you got. I'm like, bet. And then uh, that's when I knew. I'm like, I'm going to just keep doing this shit. This shit might just take off okay all right so what do you feel like because i just remember just seeing your shit because it was just everywhere just <laughs> and i followed you but like and you got hella hella fucking videos what's what's one that really stand out to you um, that like like this one i say the the white girl trying to kiss me like, I swear to God, that's, like, the video everybody come to me with, like, damn, bro, ain't you that one dude? Like, it's some shit, like, I'm on some memes page, like, I want a nigga this loyal, and it's just me, like, whoa, whoa, whoa I'm straight, baby. Like, it's all types of shit, and people be, like, showing me, like, who runs, niggas be like, man, they was like, look, you like this one nigga that this white girl tried to kiss on and shit like that, and I'm like, yeah, that's me. Like, that video went world, and that bitch even got on world star, and niggas was like, man, I seen your shit on world star, bro, you that one nigga. Like, niggas from New York, you know, when I be going out of town, I had seen some New York niggas, and that's the first thing they said. It's like, man, nigga, you that dude that had that white girl try to kiss you and shit, bro. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Yeah, she was tripping. Where was you at when, man, that, when that happened? Um, Man, it was at Michigan State, bro. My man's talking about he had a party on the floor. And I'm like, shit, this all. It was like, it was like a fraternity party. Man, it was a whole white party, bro. I'm like, bro. And it was so funny as hell. Like, you know, white people, they drink beer. And nigga, we the only niggas with Pat and Henny, like, what's up? And nigga, everybody in that bitch got Bud, Lightler, all types of shit. I'm like, man, what the fuck? I didn't forget the fuck about this bitch. So when we was leaving, I guess the party was over. And it was like this McDonald's that we all going to in that bitch. So nigga, that bitch slamming. I'm like, man. So we order our food, we waiting. My phone about to charge it. Then my niggas tapping, like, man, bro, this white girl down here tripping. She kissing all on this girl and shit with the whoop. They let me, you gotta record this shit, go record this shit. I'm like, fuck it, I'm about to record this shit. <laughs> nigga, I try to record that shit. Bitch, just try to kiss all on me. So I'm like, what the fuck? Man, that bitch kissed like everybody in that bitch. And I'm like, this bitch wig. And the nigga that kissed her in that bitch, I did not know that nigga, bro. I don't know that nigga. Everybody always keeps on my bro. That's your man's. Like, bro, I don't know that nigga, bro. <laughs> all 
Alright, so, like, one of my favorite videos is when I think you was downtown and them two white dudes was fighting. Man. Like, how do you, how do you always find these crazy situations? Like, bro, that's another thing, bro. Motherfuckers keep talking that about That shit me. don't be playing, bro. That shit just be having on some fluke shit. Like, I was just um, in Ann Arbor with my mans and them. I know from Ipsy. They was like, man, come out there. And I'm like, bet that's on the floor. So, nigga, we out there chilling. I'm blowed in a motherfucker. Because you would see me in the video stumbling. I'm blowed as hell. And, nigga, I guess this white dude was just drunk. And I'm like, just arguing and shit. And bro just kept talking. I'm like, bro, fuck up on me again, dude. I'm going to stick your shit. I'm like, what the fuck? And he was like, I'm going to stick your shit, bro. Keep walking up on me. And I'm like, man, I got to get this other kid out, bro. And I, if he stick this nigga shit, this should be a classic. He beat the fuck out that nigga, bro. It's man, true. it looked like you, like you had to tell him to stop. Like, no. like you had to tell not not the one who was uh, beating him, the one who was losing. Like you had to tell him stop, stop. Bro, going he after. wasn't doing nothing. I'm like, bro, stop, bro, stop working up on this nigga, bro. He keeps staking and clean sticks. All them bitches was landing and connecting. I'm like, bro, stop. You knocked that nigga head off one of them times. I'm like, bro, please stop, bro. <laughs> like, you will be on this bitch. Like, cause one none of them niggas hits was gonna put him together. One of them bitches was gonna send him home. And niggas would have had to pick him up. Say like, That shit was crazy as hell, dog. <laughs> what would you say is like one of the uh one of the things that you have that just made your videos take off? Like Cause I mean I know you done had a couple phrases up to this point like you had the MK or you you know yeah I say the make it make sense in the steep but then uh, the MK the MK took off but I don't be trying to say that shit intentionally it's like when I be locked in talking some shit it's just like that shit just happen and then when niggas kept commenting like MK MK I had to go back and listen to the video. Like, damn, I did say that shit. What the fuck? Like, sometimes I don't even be knowing I say that shit, and that shit just be happening. But, like, to make it make sense, it be funny as fuck, because now, nah, like, <laughs> when I be arguing with my friends and shit, niggas be like, nigga, make it make sense, motherfucker, like you be saying, the fuck? I'm like, man, come on now. Like, but that shit be funny as hell, bro. Like, make it make sense took off for sure. Definitely. Yeah, and as far as like people seeing you out and like bringing up your videos, what do you say? What what would you say is like the funniest moment when somebody recognized you out? Motherfucker, we was at the movies and um, the cashier, I was like, I need some popcorn or whatever. She was giving my popcorn, and when she was about to hand me like my popcorn, she took it back, and it, I don't know that shit just irritated the fuck with me. Like, what the fuck, you just snatched the popcorn back? She like, I know you from somewhere. I'm like, uh, I'm like, shit, I don't know. I really wasn't thinking of Instagram. Like, I just be forgetting that. Like, sometimes, like, I'd be like, Instagram famous, if you be saying. But so I just, like, forgot. And I'm like, shit, I don't know. Playing, like, a party or something. She's like, no, nah, like, I really know you. Like, I know you. I'm like, bro, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't know. Can I get my popcorn? And then she just started screaming. She's like, oh, my God, oh, my God. Just screaming and shit. My, her manager right there. And she's screaming, and she gave my popcorn. She's like, I know exactly who you is. <laughs> Went in the back, grabbed her phone, and recorded me. And I don't know, the whole time I'm thinking like, bro, do you just leave in front of the fucking, the, uh, the cashier? Why you at work just to record me? You about to get fired? What the fuck is you doing? And the boss just looking. And I'm like, and the whole time, you would see me just looking in the video like, bro, your manager is looking right at you. You just left the cashier to record me. Fuck. <laughs> My dog. Um, on your YouTube channel, like you got your videos, but you also got uh, a couple of vlogs, and you know they spaced out. But you got any plans to bring some more of that? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, right now I'm working on some YouTube, and I'm trying. I got all the equipment. I'm just need somebody like a good cameraman to come on the trips and shit. So what I'm doing right now is trying to find a good, good like a group of friends, cause. The shit we gonna be doing on these vlogs is gonna be like some silly ass shit, like water, like pranking each other, all types of shit. But I just wanna get them, <laughs> them <laughs> the right group of friends that ain't gonna fight after the damn prank, cause the shit we gonna be doing is gonna be a classic. It's gonna be funny <laughs> as hell. Like, you know, you know how that, like, bro, you do that shit at one friend, you know he gonna make a big deal trying yeah. to scrap the shit. 
But you got you got it's all laughs, but that shit gonna be it's gonna be wild as fuck. I'm working on the YouTube right now. Cause them other vlogs, them shits was funny as hell, but these vlogs I'm about to work on, these bitches. That's them gonna be the ones for sure. That's gonna be funny as hell, no cap. <laughs> okay, that's what's up. Um, and you also like I didn't heard you on like a couple like albums, like in intros. Like you was on uh one of Gucci Lando tapes on the intros. Like, uh, how do it, when was it that a lot of artists in Detroit started embracing you? Um, i say, like, right after the, um, the white girl trying to kiss me video, like, I just got my name more out. He was, like, niggas DMing me, and they be like, damn, nigga, like, I didn't even know you was from Detroit. Or it's just, like, sometimes, like, I see them out, and they be like, what up, bro? Like, I be watching your shit. Like, niggas don't be following me, but I I wouldn't know. Like, they be watching my shit. Like, niggas was just telling me, like, yeah, Sada, watch your shit. Nigga, Sada be laughing. So, it's like, people be telling me, like, Sada be posting your shit. And I'm like, damn, man, nobody tell me this shit. Like, I didn't know because he ain't tagged me or nothing. I'm like, what the fuck? And then, nigga, uh, I had seen him out one time. And nigga was like, man, you a funny ass nigga. He was just showing love. And I'm like, damn. And then, uh, nigga followed me and everything the next day. And I'm like, damn, that's some real nigga shit. And then niggas was just telling me, like, yeah, like, niggas fuck with you. And then some niggas was just like, like, Gucci Lando, some other artists, they just reaching out, like, I need you to talk shit on this beat right quick. I need, like, you to say some real ass shit. And I'm like, all right, give me a topic. And they gave me a topic. And it was just some similar shit that I already went through, so I just knew what to say. And that just went off like that. That's what's up. It's like, it's cool to see you, like, out here and taking in, like, a lot of different opportunities. And just content is key for real. Mm-hmm. All right, so where do you uh see yourself taking it and like your brand in the coming years? Um, after uh we build this like fan base with this YouTube, cause right now we gonna we gonna think of a name to get uh the group so we can get a good clothing line and a good logo. But after we um, cause it's really just building fans. We just can't make a brand without no no audience. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna build this fan base up first and then uh we're gonna take it from there. As far as like your motivation for the videos, is it still just like the way you explain? Like just the way uh people posting similar things or like and just seeing how people feeling and then you can relate to it and then the video come from there? Or has you have any other strategy? Um, I do go with the, um, people relate, and just sometimes, I just, sometimes I just post it because it relate to me, really, and I just feel like I just got to express it on, on the internet, and sometimes people find that, oh, well, shit, most of the time, people find it funny, so, yeah. Yeah, I am about to say, because a lot of times, like, it seemed like you just got some shit to get off your chest real quick, yeah. like, maybe finna hear, hear this shit. Right. All right, so how do you feel about the Quavo and Sweetie situation that's going down on Twitter and Instagram right now? Uh, I feel like low key they're gonna get back together. I just I feel like they on some kid shit handling it in the internet way, but at the same time, people really wasn't catching on what she was trying to really say in the video. Like, niggas just feel like, because how she said it, niggas just slow-minded. But she said, um, I'm going to let my nigga pick the, any other nigga to fuck her, right? Like, for the threesome. But really, technically, you know you're not about to pick no nigga, right? <laughs> she basically saying she's not doing a threesome. That's really what she's saying. But niggas not really hearing that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Went, over, went over niggas head. But that's what she basically was trying to say. But I feel like she's just... Said it that she should have said it another way. She should just basically saying like, "No, nah, I'm not doing. It. I don't do threesomes." But she just that was her way of saying like, <coughs> "She not having no threesome." But shit, yeah. Uh, I just feel like they they handling it on some kid shit. I feel like they gonna get back together in about like a month or two. Running back real yeah, quick. Yeah, running back. Um, uh, uh, and they gonna get the truck back. <laughs> they, they was supposed to talk about he had the repo man come bring the uh whatever car he bought for her. 
That's, that's the reports. <laughs> oh, he the sickest. He the sickest. <laughs> All right, that, I don't know. He the sickest for that one. Damn. Not to take it away, but that shit. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's brazy. He came, took the whip back. Man, shit, but it's a cold world. For real. <laughs> like, I feel, I feel like that. We see that shit a lot in our city, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, taking the whip back. That's a different breed. <laughs> yeah, he oh, did. Niggas be, I ain't gonna lie, niggas be taking the purses back out here. You bought that bitch a Louis, you taking that bitch back, nigga. Fuck that bitch. That's exactly how niggas be. Alright, so if you take the bag back, you giving it to the next one, or or what you, or you selling it? I, I know some niggas that took the bag and gave it to the next one. But I do, definitely, I know, I know a good, good couple niggas that took them bags and literally gave it to the next one. And bitches would be talking about, like, that nigga lame for taking that bag and give it to the next <laughs> bitch. <laughs> I'd be like, damn. I'd play so crazy. Like, damn, we took the bag, gave it to baby girl. Whole time, I'm already knowing, no cap. That shit be funny as hell. But me, I, I want to take the bag back. She can keep the bag. Fuck it. Yeah. I can't renege on that shit. That's it. That just ain't me. I bought that shit for her. That shit for her. That's just lame. No, so yeah, I just, you, can't, you can't take the shit back. It's, <laughs> it's over. You got to hold the L. Whatever yeah. it is. You can't. I don't know, though, but, you know, T.I. did Nunu a bitch. I seen a nigga, <laughs> I seen a nigga Nunu a bitch in the club before, though. Like with your own two? Oh, two eyes. <laughs> yeah, definitely. These bitches under these lights, <laughs> definitely. Out of nowhere, just stormed over her to the section. Swing! She just... <laughs> and it's like... Was. Yeah, it's like she couldn't say something. When she when I see her didn't say nothing, I know he cashed that bitch. <laughs> I know he cashed that bitch. <laughs> she ain't say a peep, nothing. She just froze up. So whatever he whatever she told that nigga, she didn't do. <laughs> whatever she told that nigga, she wasn't doing. <laughs> no yeah. cut. That shit crazy. Alright, so so shit, what's the wildest what's the wildest shit you'd ever heard a girl do? Like, not necessarily to you, but maybe a nigga you know or just some shit you done heard. Oh. I definitely say I know a bitch that milked a nigga. Milked him. Pandemic. <laughs> milked every dollar out of the pandemic. Uh, milked that nigga. What'd she get? Everything. <laughs> Everything. Trips, jewelry kits, all that shit. Then had the nerve to cheat on that nigga with a nigga that ain't spent a dime on her. And then had the nerve. Then had the nerve, bro, to try to get back with the nigga, bro. I'm like, <laughs> you milk you milk this nigga. Don't fuck with a, a broke nigga. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Just dig that nigga grimy. It's like, that nigga, that nigga lost weight. That nigga ain't had an appetite in a minute. I'm like, man. Man, I feel like... <laughs> That's the time we in, bro. It's dangerous. Oh, my God, It's bro. dangerous. And then it be like the Instagram little meme post don't be helping, bro. Like, uh, what niggas be saying? Niggas just send her 1500 She need her nails done. Or you say some shit like. Yeah. Uh, when a nigga buy. I mean, like, I understand. I'm like, bro, I understand. Definitely, it's not. Niggas definitely supposed to be buying shit like food, everything. Like, it's done there by law. When you born, you grow up to be a man, you definitely got to get in the habit of spending money on a woman. But not all the fucking time. It be some people, like, some women that just want a nigga to pay for everything. She don't, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, come on, now. I'm talking about a bitch pay for everything. That's a little bit. That's a little bit like, damn, bitch, what, like. And then, you know, when it's time for her to actually spend some money, she ain't got no money. Because what the fuck is you doing? Have a bag. Breaking up on niggas, breaking up with niggas before Sweeties Day and shit. <laughs> Literally seen that happen too. To the best of niggas. To the best of niggas. With these own two eyes, seen that happen too. Arguing with niggas on a B day. <laughs> B day, Valentine's Day, all that. It's a cold world. Future voice. Cold world, for real. <laughs> Man. 
All right, so shit, what, what advice do you have for all the niggas watching this shit? All the, all the, all the pandemic ballers, all the niggas that's up right now, they ain't used to, they ain't used to having to handle a girl in their pockets all the time like this. They don't know. What advice you got? Uh, really, I just maintain for real. Like I don't know, you gotta know how to spend money wisely. Like niggas will get thirty racks and go on like a three day vacation and literally blow the whole thirty racks. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you not have to. You don't have to blow thirty racks. Like, you not. You, you don't have to prove. That. Like niggas be trying to prove. Like you don't have to prove that you gotta throw thirty racks. Like blow thirty racks. Cause then when you when you done with the shit, what you gotta show for it? You know what I'm saying? But like, you know. I'd say at least bring a good seven racks. Seven to ten racks, depending on if you got your girl with you, yeah, bring that ten ball. But if it's just you type shit, bring a little light seven, five ball. You know what I'm saying? You gonna buy you some drinks, probably very good little fit out there, get right. You feel me? But nah, hell no. Nah. Don't just just don't blow money just cause. Like you really don't gotta get that shit. Like I know niggas that I mean shit, I do the same thing. I buy shit in world once. I can't even say shit about that. But <laughs> nah, I, I can't even cap. But nah, yeah. You just gotta learn how to spend money wisely. Niggas don't just gotta blow cheese on every trip niggas be doing. That's what niggas be doing. Especially with bitches, it's like, she gotta keep nagging you to buy everything and she can't even provide herself. You gotta step back and just realize, like, it, the looks ain't it. You find something better down the road. Young. Young as fuck. You gonna find something down the road. Okay. Or she, she gonna have to get a wake up call and learn how to get that bag herself and come back. However it play, however life play it, for real, for real. That's facts. <laughs> All right, bro. Well, I appreciate you for coming in. You know what? You can uh let the people know where to find you on Instagram and YouTube and all that shit. Man, uh, my Instagram and my Twitter is uh, B I I G T A E for Big Tay. Follow me on the gram. Follow me on Twitter, man. I'll be on both. That's really about it, man. <laughs> All right, that's what's up. Everybody check in. Watch out for new videos coming out. Follow them on the gram, Twitter, YouTube. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe on this shit. And we'll catch y'all next time.